Uh, my name is William Towns. I'm the Executive Director of Benefit Chicago. Uh, we are an impact investment fund, a place-based uh, here in Chicago, and we make uh, investments in social enterprises. Uh, we have uh, raised $100 million to you know, provide patient flexible risk tolerant capital to organizations that not only drive profits, uh, but drive purpose. And our belief is if we can provide these organizations capital, that our local communities uh, can improve, jobs can be created, and the overall economy uh, can do better. The biggest challenges uh, we've experienced is just you know, creating something new uh, and really sort of this space of impact investing and in the approach that we're taking, really sort of putting it on the map here in Chicago, I think is, was an incredible challenge. Um, because of our partners, uh, the Chicago Community Trust and MacArthur Foundation, uh, many individuals thought this was a program for grants. Uh, and so really being clear sort of on our communication, uh, really sort of talking with the individual organizations and letting them know exactly what our mission is, uh, what our investment thesis uh, is, and really sort of getting them to understand, uh, I think was a, a, a tremendous challenge. Um, the way we overcame that really is just being patient, um, really getting out and talking with community members, potential investors, investees, and really sort of explaining to the businesses not only what our opportunity is to invest in them and how we can help their business, but more so talking to businesses and organizations that we denied and really sort of being clear with them on why we weren't making the investment. Um, entrepreneurs are a very uh, particularly passionate group uh, that really, uh, for many of them, for a number of years have been working on, on their business strategy. Uh, and sometimes when they finally hear about, wow, there's $100 million in Chicago that's looking to invest in the exact same thing that I'm interested in, uh, telling them no or them hearing no uh, sometimes creates some tension. And so taking the patience and time to really sort of explain to them uh, that perhaps we're not the best uh, investment vehicle and then providing them some other type of assistance or help to help them continue uh, their mission and dream of starting their business. So we, we changed our, our management and approach from the lessons that we've learned really uh, in the opening few months of our, our organization sort of launching. Uh, one, uh, being more clear and more clearly defining um, what our mission and strategy is. You know, when you come out and announce that we are patient, flexible, and risk tolerant, um, each individual takes a sort of their own notion of what flexible is or what risk tolerant is. And sort of really putting, I think, some, some meat uh, and structure around what do we mean by patient, what do we mean by risk tolerant, what do we mean by flexible, and really sort of shaping that up. Um, oftentimes when you're launching these new businesses, you're doing it sort of isolated in a room uh, where we all are clear amongst ourselves what we're doing, and then you get out into society and the world and realize no one else realizes what exactly we're talking about. Uh, and so being really clear, uh, redefining the terms, and then I think also adjusting as we're hearing from the public as we're sort of seeing comments that they're making, as we're seeing adjustments, not pushing them off and say they don't understand, but incorporating their comments and feedback into the strategies and publications and communications that we're doing. The example that I try to set for others from my position uh, is that anyone is capable of leading and creating change. That it doesn't necessarily have to come from the top, uh, me being the executive director and sort of leading the initiative, but that we all have something that we can contribute uh, to our city and to society uh, in order to make change. Uh, I don't have a particular uh, strength and background in finance and other things, but I've always been curious. Uh, I've always been volunteering for positions and those sorts of things. And I think if you're, you're dedicated and focused on what you're doing, uh, anything is possible.